I'm starting off this DIY project with foam boards that I got from Hobby Lobby and these are hard foam boards that they sell at Hobby Lobby that I'll be using for my design. I'll hold all the boards together with duct tape. This is pretty large, so I made it in such a way that it would be easy for me to carry it on two sides. I'll mount this on the wall with little tack nails. I'll be using a leftover wallpaper that was used on my staircase and for those of you who follow me on my Instagram you would have seen a video or a short clip of when this was mounted on the wall. I used a foam board here because I would love to change this after a while. Now I realized that I should have used a piece of wood instead of a foam board because of the adhesive that I'm using to attach the wallpaper to it. After a while, it started bulging even though I had used the hard foam board from Hobby Lobby. I'll be making vertical lines on this with gold tape. When I got to this point, I noticed that I would need this particular design somewhere else in my home, so I quickly switched this up for something else. I used a different wallpaper on the wall and this particular one can be peeled off. That's why I had it directly on the wall. This will look much better when the glue is dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and add foam boards together and I'll be making a border for this other design around the wallpaper. And the border is going to have black marble contact paper on it. And I got this from Walmart. I would like to apologize in advance in case you see me sweating just a bit in the course of this video. It's because I went to the gym. So when I got back, I decided to just go ahead and do this project, knowing that I'm going to be doing a lot of sweating before I take a shower. So I do apologize for any of the clips with me sweating in advance. I would like all of the borders on this design to be 15 inches thick. So I'm going to be cutting out that measurement for all four borders that's going to be around the wallpaper. I'll be using gold tapes that are self-adhesive for this design and they come in different sizes. I will leave a link for this down in the description box below. I'll be starting with a thicker one and I'm going to be making my way down, reducing the sizes of the gold tape. I'm using the width of a duct tape as my guide to give me equal spacing between all the lines. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. What I'm working on is going to be at the top. I'll be making two of these ones, and these are going to be by the sides. I 
I was making sure that everything was okay before I mount the foam boards. And then I realized that putting up the foam boards the way they are will not work. Only because the designs are looking kind of different when it's mounted up on the wall, as you can see. So what I did was to bring the ones that we by the sides down and then worked around with a tape to make sure that once it's on the wall, it would align together with the other one that's horizontally placed. Now that looks much better. I'm going to be attaching this to the wall with little tack nails. After having them attached to the wall, I took Dollar Tree bowls to make a design with them. I will need six of this, so I got three packs of these bowls because they come two in a pack. I'm also going to be using paper plates for this design. These are gold paper plates that they sell at Party City. So I got this design and I'm going to be gluing the paper plate to the back of the bowl to give my design a 3D effect. Now I'm going to be gluing on Dollar Tree mirrors to the middle of the paper plate. What I have here is going to be glued onto Dollar Tree picture frames and I'll be removing the parts that I don't need, leaving just the glass. Because these are light in weight, I'm going to be mounting them up to the wall with mounting tape from the Dollar Tree. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to be making another pattern that's going to be around all six frames. After having the tape directly on the wall, I can see that it's not smooth the way I want it to be. So I'm definitely going to be using PVC strips and using tape over them to replace what I already have here. And I'll be doing that later in the future. Here's what the wall looks like. And I love the distinction between the black in the middle of the wall and the way the gold tape ties everything together. The wallpaper is dry. As you can see, it's really pretty and you can see the shiny gold lines. The two black and white tables that you see there is a DIY of mine and I will leave a link for that DIY video down in the description box below. This is definitely a focal point in this room. And this design will be perfect for a hallway. Now this side of the wall is hardly being used for anything, so that's why I had this design here.
thank you all so much for watching i have other home decor diy videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button